favorite wow. place? Look at this. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, you know, gazing. Oh. This is amazing. Well, Father's Day is just a couple days away. And our next guests are a father-son duo who share a common love for, you guessed it, cooking. They're two of the Valley's top chefs and have ideas for getting you, that's right, you, ready to celebrate dear old daddy. That's or right. Or papa. Rub. What do you call dad? Uh, dad. Really? Simple. Pops. Very simple. I'm a simple man. The Sarge. Uh, Roy, Sarge. Roy, our Sarge here is Roy Elamar. <laughs> He's executive chef over at Harvest at Bellagio. Also with us is Tayden Pohar Elamar. He is the master cook over at Joel Robichon mm. Restaurant at MGM Grand. Gentlemen, it's great to have both of you. Thank you. Thanks for good having to be us. here. Smells great already. This is good. How, now, Roy, yeah. you taught him everything he knows. Not everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of yes, easy. everything. He's actually teaching you now, I'm sure. Did, were you the one who instilled the love of cooking into him, or was this something that independently he just kind of... Yeah, so then the genes. Well, who knows? Well, I, I, would, I would like to think that I had something to do with it, yeah, for sure. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at him. This, uh, this, oh, just, oh, wow. Is that a chef's hat? That was oh, last year. <laughs> <laughs> that was last year. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we'd get a kick out of it. Oh, uh, that's great. It. Sorry, okay. that's funny. Okay. So, so, so you, uh, when did you realize you wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Um, I was one year in at college. One year in uh, no, <laughs> doing. I was in college for electrical engineering, and oh. um, I'd go home and play with food every day. And I was like, well, I should do this instead of. Uh, Forcing myself to yeah. learn something that I don't want to, so there I followed go. my uh, passion <laughs> and yeah. uh, ended up doing this. Growing up, did Dad always cook up like a five-star oh. meal? That's the funny thing about cooks, though. You know, we, right. we cook all day at, uh, at work, and then we come home. We just want something simple, but um, it was always good food. It was yeah. always uh, really tasty food. And you would experiment with him in the kitchen growing up, so you knew it was something that you had in you, but you wanted to go the engineering route? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, when, so when, now. When did you realize he had it in him? Ooh. Oh, that's a good question. Well, when he moved up here, which is like three years ago now, uh, he was working at Sage over at Aria. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, I have a lot of colleagues over there, and they would tell me, this kid is amazing. I mean, he's just picking everything up so quickly and learning huh. so fast and just becoming a, a real important role in the kitchen. That's so awesome. From then, I, I realized, I mean, this guy, he's going to, the sky's the limit for him. So. Yeah. You're like, mm, now he's my competition. Yeah. <laughs> no, I need to really push it. <laughs> cooking up right now we're making some chicken that uh, that uh, we a recipe that I, we came up with when Tana was a kid and um, nice. uh, it, 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 the star of it is uh, calamansi so that calamansi is over there that small little limes it's oh, a Filipino nice. yeah. Uh, lime yeah so it's uh, it's real nice it's like a, a cross between a tangerine and, uh, and a lime we make so a marinade cool. out of that with some soy some lemongrass cool. uh, all of these ingredients over here we marinated the chicken for a few hours overnight and then usually we grill them at home yeah. And then we serve, we, uh, we always like to drink uh, some shandies with that in the summertime. So it's a requirement. Uh, it is a requirement. So I made two for you guys. So please enjoy. Thank, Thank you very you. much. We all, I mean. This is a mixture of Stella and then. Stella. We put what beer. Usually this? we drink uh, green bottles Stella? back home. Yeah, we drink Heineken's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like everybody else in Hawaii. I don't know yeah. why. Yeah, yeah, this is a total class here. You know, yeah. Class up from drink. Hawaii. From yeah, Hawaii? we're from Hawaii. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so we're using uh, Stella Artois today. Some Hawaiian sun lilikoi juice and some calamansi. Juice. You know, here's the here's dangerous thing. That is thing. light. This is almost though. better than a Corona light. You wouldn't think it because I <laughs> oh. drink all the time on the show. I'm not a big drinker, but this is freaking phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be having another one of these. Wow. These are great. Hawaiian <laughs> Sun. <laughs> can you, <laughs> Lilikoi Passion? Lilikoi Passion, yeah. Wow. Well, can you get these at the store? Uh, yeah, you can get them at, uh, like, International Market. Okay. No, no plug. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. No, because yes. this is that Or uh, pretty much any Asian store now carries all the stuff from Hawaii. So. Oh, right down the street. Come yeah. On. We'll, just, we'll hit Fantastic. up everything. Fantastic. Yeah. That's fine. So we're cutting up the chicken right cutting now. Cutting up the chicken cutting right the chicken now. Up. Mm. Magically, we already had some prepared. Yes, the magic of television. Yep. We love TV. <laughs> Speaking of uh, speaking of electrical work, it's an electric stove. So if you <laughs> yeah. did short out, it hopefully you'll learn something. You can help us fix that. <laughs> so are we talking dishes here that are cooked up at both your restaurants, or this is what you guys do at home? This is more something we would do at home. Okay. Uh, you know, with summer coming around right on the corner, um, this is uh, definitely something we would do at home. Right. Put it on the grill. What, what can we expect at, at Harvest when we walk? Harvest, we do. Uh, it's a farm-to-table restaurant. We do New American cuisine. We focus a lot on the ingredients, the provenance of where they're from, mm -hmm. uh, and, and those things like that. In fact, uh, we have these snack wagons that roam around the room, uh, offering little snacks and bites, like dim sum style. Oh, wow. very or cool. Or we call them poo poos in Hawaii. Poo poo platters. Poo -poo platters. <laughs> I love my poo poo platters. They're great. Good. Um, so, and tonight, we're having uh, <laughs> Chef Todd English coming in, and he's doing a snack wagon takeover. 
Pride of Boston. Nice. Yeah, Pride of Boston. So he'll be here uh, tonight taking over the wagon, and uh, we do one every every month or so. We invite a celebrity chef in to, to do, cool. do, their, way, do awesome. their own food. On I the love wagons. this, like, wagons, the carts, yeah. the food trucks. Right now it's, it's a very in thing. Yes. In, for harvest, is this something that you guys have done from the get-go? Yeah, this is what, something that we really wanted to uh, incorporate because we're adding on all those seats to, uh, to the lounge now. We have a really vibrant lounge in the front. So we wanted to be able to service the guests real quick, offer them something fast as they're on their way to our new arena. Um, nice. Yeah, so, so <laughs> we were able to, uh, to incorporate that. And, and it's cool. It's fun. People love it. It's really engaging. It's very uh, trendy. Yeah, yeah. Very trendy. How cool is it for you, his father and son situation, Father's Day obviously <laughs> coming up, you're, you're sitting alongside your dad on live TV, mm -hmm. both following the same passion. How awesome is that? Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. You know, <laughs> four years ago, I never thought this day was going to come. One year ago. Never <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm uh, sure it's helped the relationship yeah. grow. Yeah. Oh, for sure, yeah. Oh, yeah. How, how are things at Joel Robichon? Uh, good. In, good in. <laughs> <laughs> he's, in, he's in the back. He's cooking all this. Yeah. What, what kind of food can we expect at Joel Robichon? Um, High-end French. Yeah. Uh, so different. Tight, okay. precision. You know. Pretty amazing stuff. Yeah. yeah. When you get into the craft, I mean, I think it's uh, like any craft these days. You have an expertise. You have a niche. Like, what is it for you? What is your expertise within the cooking world? Um, I think I'm still finding it. You know. Nice. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm still a cook. I'm still learning. You're the uh, utility player back. Exactly. Then. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I'm just gonna keep working until I find that niche. I guess. Yeah. You know? No do, question. Do you have one, Dad? Um, for me, it's like, uh, you know, the simple flavors. Uh, there's always a little bit of Asian twist in my food like uh, because of the way we grow up, uh, yeah. where we grow up, and the flavors that we uh, were introduced to growing up. And, uh, but it's always ingredients first, uh, knowing where they come from, and, uh, and really celebrating the people that grow it for us. Yeah. Gentlemen, farmers, it's great having The you. local farmers. The local farmers, exactly. This has been a lot of fun. It yeah. smells great. We're going to dig in. Thank yes. you so much. Thanks and, for and having me. Happy Father's Day. Thank you so happy much. Father's Absolutely. Day. You're going to do something big, big for him. I know it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the Calamansi grilled chicken dish uh, come together this morning. It's a great meal for Father's Day. And if you want to see it together again, you just go to our website, VegasMorningBlend.com. We're going to have the recipe there. You mm. can try it at home. And when you fail miserably, you can go in a harvest. Yeah, just skip, skip the cooking <laughs> step. Just go into the restaurant. <laughs>